It's the grand mid-season finale of Flash, and how do I think about this episode? <laughs> Hello guys, I'll be reviewing the mid-season finale of Flash. Last season had one of the greatest mid-season finales I've recalled in a long time, other than the show Grimm, which a lot of people don't watch, which has each season gets a better mid-season finale, better and better and better. The point of a mid-season finale is to keep you drawn in, keep the viewers in tune, to wait all the way, like three or four weeks, maybe even five, sometimes six. It can go on for a long time for that break. So the whole point of a mid-season finale is to keep you wanting to watch more. And this did not end it off like that. This is just like a regular episode to me. It There was no Nothing special about it. The mid-season finale. It's supposed to be grand in scale. It doesn't have to have buildings blowing up or something like that. But it's supposed to leave us off with a cliffhanger. But with a lot of drama in between. And the drama fell short for me. Like, I did like the addition of Wally West finally showing up. But I would have liked a lot more out of him. Just him like, hey, I'm your son. That's all we got. So, I was kind of disappointed with that. The drama with um, Patty... I'm 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 not feeling it. She's she is becoming the Iris of this season, even though Iris in this episode was actually fantastic. She finally called her own self out. I'm like, it's about time this bitch said something. But it's so stupid how she acted in the first season. But then she's like this. I know. I feel bad because I was up your ass about you not telling me about the Flash. I feel terrible, terrible that I was keeping this secret. I'm like, that's right. That's right. Feel bad. Feel bad. This mid-season finale has two villains. It was rumored to have three with Captain Cold, but Captain Cold just made an appearance. He was like, he was supposed to be a villain, but he was like, nah, I, I'm not here to kill you. Think of it as a little Christmas present. I don't know the one villain's name, but I'm going to call him Wizard Storm or something like that. Like You guys know who I'm talking about, and you got the trickster. If this was a regular episode, I would have been like, yeah, the episode's all right. But there's just, like, nothing special. Like, these two were just, like, their their chemistry, though. I want to see them work together. Yeah, I like to see all villains trying to kill the Flash. I would like to see that. But if you could pick two villains to work together, the most random ones you could have possibly picked, the Trickster and Storm Dude, I was kind of disappointed in that. And they, they had a lot riding on this. But the good, there was a lot of humor with Cisco and all that stuff. But yeah, in my opinion, it's one of the weakest episodes. That's how far down it was for me. I can't wait to uh, do a mid-season finale review for The Arrow. I'm not going to do episode-to-episode reviews. I'm just going to do a wonderful little mid-season review and then the finale review and all that stuff. It's going to be a lot of fun, so check that out. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, and all the crap later, and goodbye.